Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about one of my favourite pieces of equipment to use when recording and that is this audio recorder here. Now to be more specific, this is a Tascam DR07 Mark II and what it essentially does is it allows you to record sound from just about any source you can imagine that goes uh, into, or out of actually rather, in the form of a 3.5mm jack. So, it looks a little bit like a taser and the fact that its brand name is a Tascam doesn't really help its cause, but when it actually comes down to the actual usage of it, it's brilliant. So, it takes uh, regular AA batteries, which I am using here, which are some Duracell rechargeable ones, which are the ones I really actually quite like in terms of batteries as well. Duracell make pretty damn good batteries. So yeah, um, the input is just this single uh, 3.5 jack at the top here, and the output is this uh, 3.5 jack here. It also records directly to its internal memory. Actually, when I say internal memory, I really mean an SD card which goes into the side here. A uh, micro SD card, yeah. And uh, the micro SD card that's currently in there is a 4 gig. But you can get um, you can get them up to 32 gig now, if not higher than that. Um, and micro SD cards are a wonder in and of themselves because they're so physically so small, but they can actually contain so much information. It's pretty mind blowing, actually. I've got a. I think the biggest micro SD card I've got is a 16 megabyte, 16 gigabyte rather, um, micro SD card. And I remember the days when you could buy. Uh, like only 128 megabyte hard drives that go into your computer. So we have come so far when it comes to actual storing data. It's baffling. But anyway, the thing is when it comes to recording videos um, that everyone should always bear in mind is that sound is fundamentally more important than the visuals. Um, it's counterintuitive to a lot of people who, who perhaps don't make videos, but once you get into the rhythm of making videos, um, you will soon notice that um, audio is by far the most important aspect of it. After all, um, you can make essentially a video that's audio only and just have a slide over the front, and that kind of works, actually, that kind of works very well sometimes. But you can't have, or you can only have very, you're very narrowed if you only choose to use visual over sound. Um, so yeah, by that definition of alone, you can argue that sound is more important than um, than video, and obviously it deter uh, it, it's determined by your um, artistic nature as to what weighting you're actually going to give visual and so forth. But anyway, back to the subject at hand. Yeah, audio recording is important, which is why this is the probably one of the most expensive pieces of kit I own that isn't a camera. Um, it cost me about £120, uh, which in dollars is about $200, I think, if I, if I can sort of pitch that correctly. And, um, and it was worth every penny. So um, what it essentially does is you've got two microphones at the top here. And they're very good microphones as they are. They work best, they're um, dynamic, and you can switch them from multi-dimensional uh, to unidirectional. And so, which basically means you can point it at the thing that you're actually taking sound from and it will focus the microphones, or you can have multi-directional, which can take sound from just like atmos atmospheric sound, basically. You can also plug in lavalier mics. And if you don't know what lavalier mics are, they're basically those clip-on mics that go on your collar. You can also um, plug in just about any microphone that is a 3.5 millimeter jack microphone. Um, and even and this even supplies what's called phantom power. Phantom power, for those of you that don't know, is basically when your microphone's um, electricity supply comes from the thing that you plug it into, in which case it would be this. Um, and it can actually supply a decent amount of phantom power as well. So you can use, like, pick a microphone at random that has a 3.5 millimeter jack. This, it will work with this. Um, it's also very, very good at getting clean audio, even out of the cheapest of mics, which is something that um, I'm, I'm constantly impressed by, even though I've had this for a, for a decent amount of time now. So, um, yeah, like I say, always invest in a good audio recorder. Uh, even if it's not this model, just make sure that you, you get a good one if you're serious about making um, good content. Um, and I'm going to finish today with a little bit of a demonstration. One of the things I do like about this as well is that you can set the volume inputs manually. 
which might sound like something quite standard and something quite trivial, where, and, and in fact many people would actually rather just let it uh, set the volume controls automatically. But when you're editing, um, and when you're shooting footage, especially like I'm doing this in one take, but if I was to do it in separate takes, um, I would, there would be times on the film where I would be saying nothing and that might be when I'm sort of preparing something over here or it might be because I'm working out my lines or whatever. Um, in which case, uh, a lot of automatic um, audio equipment will automatically adjust, it will automatically raise the volume level because it thinks it, it needs to raise it to pick up sound. And then when you're talking quite a lot, it will lower and lower and lower and lower the, um, the automatic volume level. And what that ends up with is uh, you have... Uh, when it comes to editing, you can take a, if you take a, a, a clip from over here and a clip from over here and you bring them together next to each other, you have two clips which although visually look very similar, their audio levels are like, like this. And when you cut from one to the other, it can, have, it can, it can sound very, very jarring because it, because it means things like background noises are picked up at different levels uh, and it means that even people speaking volumes are picked up at different levels and it can be very, very apparent that the volume levels are set very differently. So when you've got a consistent volume level, um, it's, it's a lot easier and a lot smoother to edit one clip next to another. And when you do um, edited clips where the actual volume of the environment changes quite a lot, it can throw off the automatic detectors of any audio equipment going. Although I've got to admit, um, the automatic volume on cameras, uh, like the camera I've got here, which is a uh, Canon Vixia, and I've got a camera over there which is a Canon Liegra, uh, both of which are actually very, very good at automatic volume levels, so I do tend to um, switch over here. Also, one of the things which I really, really, really do like about this, which is a very fringe benefit, is that you can slip over the top here a um, microphone filter, uh, like a, you know, like a, a thing, basically those those soft things that go over top of microphones, and you can speak into it like that, and it looks and feels a lot like a microphone, although you don't have the wires going everywhere, as well as you can actually uh, plug in actual microphones there as well. So anyway, I've set this to 50. Also, by one of the things you do have to remember when it comes to audio recorders in general is that it's always better to set the volume a little lower than you expect it to be rather than a little higher because there's nothing that sounds worse than maxing out um, when, when you speak too loud for a microphone, basically. Okay, so... This is just going to be a bit of a quick example of what the sound quality sounds like coming out of a... Uh, this particular sound device and as you can probably tell it actually sounds pretty damn awesome Especially when you stack it up against the uh, quality that's coming from the camera and this camera uh, that I'm recording from I'm just using the automatic recording settings So guys this video has gone on long enough, but thank you very 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 much for watching and um, Until next time I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Take care now